Now there's one final comic in this section. <laughs> and it just says if if we have one function that's bigger than another, and let's say they're both positive, then suppose we're integrating um, g of x. Uh, maybe a or b could be uh, infinite, maybe g could be discontinuous. Sort of the whole point though is that um, if this integral converges, then so does this one. <laughs> and it's not hard to see why. Let's suppose that at A, G sort of going off to infinity, and so is F, but it's it's bigger. If we know that if we know that the area under F is finite, then certainly the smaller area under G will be finite. <laughs> and this is useful because it, it tells us that certain improper integrals converge even when we can't evaluate them explicitly. Ah! Say we're looking at integral from 1 to infinity. Of 2 plus e to the minus x over x. And well, we probably could figure this one out explicitly, but there's really no point because the inside is bigger than 2 over x. I'm just throwing away the e to the minus x part. And integral of 2 over x, this diverges because you'll end up with a logarithm I mean, that's something you have to check. Um, so if this is diverging, then certainly this bigger thing diverges too. Here's another example. If I'm going from 1 to infinity, and I'm integrating this, well, we mostly care about what's happening when x is really large. So one common trick is we don't really care about that one. So I'll use the fact that this thing is bigger than x to the sixth. So if I replace this with a smaller thing on the bottom, the whole number gets bigger. And this is just to simplify of x over x cubed, which is just 1 over x squared. And so we have to look at this integral. And this one does converge. It equals the limit as t goes to infinity. the integral from 1 to t of this, and we can just evaluate this. We'll get negative 1 over x from 1 to t, and this is just the limit 
as t goes to infinity of negative 1 over t minus negative 1. As t goes to infinity, this goes to 0, and this goes to 1. So, this thing converges, and we know that it's bigger than the thing we're looking at, so this converges to And that's what the comparison theorem tells us.